you shouldn't ever date someone that you're hoping to fix, right? So don't date a project, as people have said before. Hi, my name is Kayla Zumal, and I am a Catholic wife and mother and occasional Catholic commentator for JD, because I love talking about all things about our faith, and especially the ways we can see it and things around us. So um, recently, JD sent me over a new song that I hadn't heard called Please, Please, Please by Sabrina Carpenter. And I loved watching Michael Knowles' take on it because it was fun. He actually really liked it, which was fun to see. Um, it, I agree with him. It has a really fun, catchy beat. And uh, the story he tell, or she tells is um, definitely one that you've heard before. And unfortunately, something that's probably all too common in a lot of women. Um, I think that one thing that we see a lot of times in our culture is we end up in relationships that maybe we haven't thought too much about, and especially when certain things happen. So I kind of listened to the song a couple times and definitely got stuck in my head. And I come up with a couple of things I noticed that I think she's kind of getting across in her message, or at least things you can take away from the message that she gives us. Obviously, in the story, she tells a very extravagant version of being in such a relationship because the boy she's with in her music video is straight out of prison. So obviously saying that he's a project or that he has things to work on is a little bit not extreme enough. <laughs> but um, even if the person that someone is with, and in this case, obviously it's a girl who's with a guy and she's saying that everyone else says he's not that great, but she says, I'm the only one that can see he's great. And then she says, please don't prove them right. Please, like my heart can handle it, but my ego can't. So please make sure that I was the one that was right and that I knew I could trust you. Please just don't let your devil out, things like that. So that's what she's saying in the story. So number one, I think the first message we get from this is um, you shouldn't ever date someone that you're hoping to fix, right? So don't date a project, as people have said before. And I think her music video and the song itself puts that pretty clearly. Uh, if you're going to date somebody and you think that, well, someday they're going to be successful. Someday they're going to be um, good at all these things that they're not so great at right now, or they're going to treat me way better than they treat me right now. It's probably not the best relationship to be in. You really want to be dating the person for who they are right now. Uh, you can be friends with people that might need to be working on certain things, but if it's key things for being in a relationship, you definitely don't want to enter that knowing that they don't have those. Uh, the second thing that she mentions is uh, that, Clearly, she has friends and family that are speaking into this relationship because she's like, please don't prove them right. So definitely in your relationships, as number two, keep your friends and family involved, right? And actually listen to what they say, because if you're missing the big red flags, like he just got out of prison or, you know, he doesn't treat you right or he's pulling you away from the things you love or you're not acting yourself around him, things like that. Those are things you want to be hearing and you might not be able to see because you're the one in it. And you're the one blinded by love, right? Because you love this person, let's say. Which brings us to number three. Clearly, in her music video at least, she makes it pretty clear that they have a physical relationship, right? So that they're sexually together, most likely. Especially with her comment of like the ceiling fan and trying to, obviously the way she dressed, the way she acted in the video, kind of leads you to at least believe those things. And that's a common thing in relationships where we kind of let the physical part of the relationship totally obscure the main part of the relationship, which is one of the reasons why the church teaches that sex should be saved for marriage, right? Because once you introduce that into your relationship, you have these chemical bonds, scientifically, chemically bonding you and blinding you to this person that you haven't already used your mind and your heart to discern is the right person for you and someone trustworthy of that bond and of your life and of that relationship that you want to give them. So um, it's kind of that idea of like, she's in too deep at this point, right? Like she says, she can handle the heartbreak, but my ego can't take it because I've been telling all my friends and family they're wrong and you're a good person and all these things. So um, so I would believe in the church and her wisdom when she tells us, right, to not do that, to not get too physically intimate because the physical side of the relationship should mirror the actual relationship. So if you've just met each other, you should not be even like holding hands or kissing or anything, right? Because you've just met the person, they're a stranger, right? And then if you start dating, it's like, okay, maybe you're holding hands or whatever. But but if you're not married to them, then why would you be giving them literally everything you have to give physically if you haven't given them your heart and your your um, 
children, right? Your money, where you live. When you give your body, you should have done it with the same commitment of giving everything. That's why it belongs in marriage because it's such a total gift. So um, I think in this case, maybe she's also blinded by that. <laughs> so a couple different things, but all in all, I think it was kind of a fun song, but definitely some interesting things to think about with um, people who possibly are in relationships like that. And um, hopefully we should just pray for people in those relationships that they can see that maybe they might want to get out, but um, maybe being proved wrong might not be the worst thing in those situations, though of course not easy to hear. So that's all I have today. Have a great day. May God bless you.